Hello everyone and welcome back to my sunroom on this sunny, kind of a cloudy day here in August in East Tennessee. My friend Sharon requested a video about miniature Phalaenopsis orchids and specifically she asked why are they harder to grow than the standard size Phalaenopsis orchids? What are the differences in their care and how do you get them to thrive like your standards? That's a great topic because for many years I couldn't grow miniature Phalaenopsis and it was always a dilemma to me. I would buy a standard complex hybrid and it would grow like it was in the jungle. And then I'd buy a mini and it would just shrivel up and die. So let me tell you from my experience what the differences are and how I care for mine. I love my mini fowls especially since I know how to grow them now. The first thing to remember is that many Phalaenopsis orchids aren't baby orchids. Don't let their size fool you. These are adult orchids unless they're seedlings, but the ones that we buy from stores and nurseries are usually fully mature. Growers tend to look at the size of their minis and think that their leaves you know, they're really, really small, so they need less light to thrive. Now that's the mistake that I made when I first started growing them. And actually, they need more sunlight than the standards do to thrive. In their natural habitat, minis grow higher up in the canopy of the rainforest where they get more light and more water than the large Phalaenopsis do. Since they're higher up in the canopy, they get the benefit of the sunshine and more moisture and rainfall. So that's what we need to mimic. My miniature Phalaenopsis get the most sunlight of all of my orchids, and they grow in the same area of my sunroom as my Cattleyas do. And they're not shaded by other plants. They grow in this section, and this is afternoon. So you can imagine, they get morning sunlight all morning long and then it's about four o'clock in the afternoon they're going to get dispersed light from now until the sun sets so in other words they're getting bright light most of the day so that also means that they require more water and more fertilizer because they get all of this light i water my standard fowls about once a week that are in medium or large size Orchiata bark. I water my miniatures every four or five days usually in small sized Orchiata bark. And in the summer when the temps are high, I check on them really often because they can actually dry out faster than that. Especially when their leaves are growing, they tend to get really thirsty. I don't let the roots turn silvery between waterings like I do with my standard size fowls because I've noticed that their leaves will start to pucker and look dehydrated if I allow the roots to turn silver between waterings. I use the same fertilizer recipe on all of my fowls, including my minis. But since I fertilize them more often, they get almost twice the amount that the standardized fowls do in a month. Uh, like for example, I fertilize in the summer at about 250 to 270 parts per million when I water my standard size fowls. And then every fourth time, I just run reverse osmosis through the pots to clean the salts from the pots. So for my standard size fowls, that's about 250 parts per million times three fertilizing sessions each month. So that's about 750 parts per million per month. With my minis, they're fertilized every four or five days. And then I run clean, clear, reverse osmosis water through every th third or fourth time I water. So over the course of the month, they're going to be getting around 1,200 parts per million per month. That is a lot of fertilizer. They're vigorous growers, and so they require a lot of nutrients. 
Another thing to keep in mind is that they like slightly higher temperatures than the standard Phalaenopsis orchids do. The warmest spot in my sunroom in the summer is here in this area where they live. But in the winter time, it's also the coolest spot. So I have to place them more in the center of the room during the winter where it's warmer, or I have to pull the tables away from the windows. You all have seen me do that in the winter time. I've had two of my minis suffer from cold burn in the winter from being too close to these windows and they don't recover. So I find them a warmer place in the winter. That's one of the main reasons I grow some of them in the kitchen in the winter. The windows in my kitchen are well insulated and they're protected from cold drafts. And these kind of tend to get drafty just a little bit in the winter time. Another thing to be aware of is to keep up with repotting them when they need to be. They can grow from a small little two inch pot to a four inch pot in a matter of just months. And then when the roots get growing, you're going to need an even larger pot. Sogo Tahiti, Sogo Lawrence Tahiti Sunset here is growing in a nine inch pot now, nine inches. And four years ago, he was in a three inch pot when I, when I bought the plant. They grow so fast in a short period of time when they're given the right growing conditions. So I repot my minis more often than my standards. I immediately repot them in a larger pot when I first buy them. And usually I have to repot them again within a year. And just a heads up about repotting, when you repot them, be extra vigilant about keeping them watered because they'll dry out even faster when they're freshly repotted. Right now, I'm growing all of my miniature Phalaenopsis orchids in small Orchiata bark, except for my two Tahiti sunsets. This one here and the one that I just showed you, they're in medium size Orchiata bark. And then I have an orchid named Star that is in a, um, it's in a moss and bark hybrid. Let me show you that plant. This one last year, I repotted it in medium Orchiata bark and New Zealand sphagnum moss, kind of a mixture, and it's doing very well. So I'm gonna just keep it like this for a little while, but I plan on converting them all over to just regular Orchiata bark. And I'd like to thank my friend Sharon for the video idea. And if you all have any questions that I haven't gone over in this video about my minis, feel free to leave a comment. I love reading through my comment section and I just appreciate your all's friendship so much. I appreciate y'all watching and I'd love to say the blessing over you, your families, and your plants. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. You all make it a great day. We'll see you all next time.